Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, as you saw in the last video, we ended it after we had taken the old windshield off. Uh, so just installed the new Cobra, uh, PowerMad Cobra windshield. Uh, looks a lot better, a lot more low pro. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is putting the new V-Force 3 reeds on, because as you saw last time, the throttle body boots are totally shot and torn apart. And yeah, they're in pieces. So yeah, we're going to be putting the V-Force reeds on. I uh, put a new belt on it because the old one was delaminating. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, nice and gentle. Get that over there. Clean enough, look at that. No chunks, that's a good sign. Let's get a spin over that, spin over that clutch by hand please. It doesn't start, Ryan. I don't think it's got good compression. In here, it's squirting from here. That looks clean. Looks good. We'll just do a compression test on it after. I almost want to use like a fucking wire wheel or something on this. Nice and clean now. Use some sandpaper. If you guys do this, make sure you shove regs in, block the ports off, vacuum out the holes before you pull the regs out so you don't get any grip from that sandpaper back in your engine. Get your butt in here, boy. Hey, go. Keep going. Just in the garage. Nice tight fit. Yeah, nice. So what we're doing here, Cleaning all this old corrosion off these throttle bodies so they'll seal up nicely when we put them back on the new reeds. Getting no leakage. Hopefully. <laughs> V Force reeds are on, everything's cleaned, torqued up properly done uh now we're ready to put the throttle bodies back on uh get these all hooked up and put the air box back on and the exhaust together i think it'll start afterwards well if it doesn't start then we got bigger problems than we thought so hopefully skunky, skunky fuel maybe could be skunky fuel but it was only from february it should still be good it's not like it sat for a couple of years or anything so we'll throw some fresh Does fuel in her and uh, this engine require high test or no uh, it doesn't say it does, and even so if it does, it should. It should it, it, if you have a high test in it and it sat from February from now, it's probably fine. Yeah, it should still run. So we'll uh, we'll get that sorted out and go from there. See what uh, see what she does for us once we get this back together. One, two. Nice. And this goes back here. The reeds on. We got throttle bodies all on. Coolant lines on the bottom here. Um, they're kind of a pain to get to, so have fun if you ever take those off. Um, all the connectors back on, lines back on. Throttle positioning sensor was kind of hard to plug back in once the throttle bodies were on, so definitely recommend plugging that in f first. Um, yeah, everything moves. Everything's nice and clean and tight. So we're going to continue putting the air box in. Here we are installing the air box clamps. Got the air intake sensor already plugged in. You know, if you're gonna be doing a lot of this kind of work, a very good recommendation would be to uh, get yourself a long set of screwdrivers, mostly Phillips and slot. You don't see a lot of Robinsons on these things, but an extra set of, or a set of extra long screwdrivers are always very handy for getting these things off. Because I'll tell you, it's not that fun doing it without them. But you can. There she is. Air box, reeds, throttle, clean throttle bodies, everything's back together, tight, clean, set up properly. So just waiting for our exhaust gasket to get here and then we'll put the exhaust together and see if she finally starts. Take three. Oh wait, never mind, this is just a fuel. Cancel that. <laughs> 
No, like the nozzle. I'm incapable. Just pull it. I don't want to sweat though. Yank it. Pull my cord, bro. Chase, you're up. Let the big dog in there. <laughs> Rattle his cage. It's a little smoky. Don't, it's gonna fall off. You have a fucking heart attack. Ready? Yep. got there so it's not starting I think we got some skunky fuel if you pull the fl plugs out you can smell the skunky fuel on the plugs so we got some octane booster in high hopes it'll bring the fuel back to life a little bit because we did fill it up a little bit but it's regular so it's not gonna boost that old stuff that well and it fired up really well when we poured gas down the cylinders so we know it'll Wheel fire up. it just needs uh, just needs a little bit of help and uh, if this doesn't work you're gonna take the plunge and drain it out uh, Probably gonna have to, yeah. We're getting new fuel injectors. I'm not gonna put the whole thing in. There's there's nothing but foam coming out, Mitch. Just shut that off. Did you adjust the pressure rate? No, I was just letting it sit. There's not even the tank isn't even on. Oh. Can we turbocharge this thing? Doesn't help, it doesn't run. Beep, I didn't start. We got the before and the after. Very good job, Mitch, on the wrap. Thank that you. That works much better. Oh, I'm not even much. fucking done yet. I, com I completely wrap, missed the the Ryan's Chop Shop adventure over here. Mm. That fits quite nice, actually. It's too really tight, though. That's the point. Like, I mean, I don't even think I need those rear bolts. Oh, man, out of the way, look. Well, I forgot to put this on. Why don't you fucking turbo this thing all the There's so much going on here, I just can't record it all. Too many of these things. Yeah. You need to take off the condo. I didn't even know that was on there. Until he sees it now. Skipped up the whole road and went off. That looks so much nicer. I can't wait until 100 pounds in the place. 
Ready? <laughs> you didn't, you didn't that. need that light, did you? <laughs> Wow. It's weight reduction, Ryan. Alright, so the rev is done for today. We have a new bumper. We got rid of this stupid grab bar. Um, we still have the control arms off. They're currently getting sandblasted. That sounds funny, sandblasted. We're gonna paint them. Uh, new skis are coming. Have you ordered them yet? No, I haven't ordered them. No, no, no new skis ordered yet. Uh, we wrapped the side clear plastic here, new windshield installed, uh, the engine does start now, had some skunky fuel, and uh, needed some reeds because the boots were ripped. Uh, we put V-Force 3 reeds in there, and... New can. Oh, yeah, we got a new GGB can in there, mountain can, sounds good, we're going to have to wait till we get it uh, out riding this year, see how good it sounds when we're on the throttle, but yeah, stay tuned, we got some more coming. Thanks for watching. Thanks, guys.